As a brand new week prepares to kick off right here at the New York Stock Exchange, investors, they're all wondering if the sudden bump in the road will be extended for the U.S. markets. Because last week, all three major averages breaking multi-week winning streaks. The Dow Jones and S&P losing more than 1% each since the beginning of the week. The Nasdaq also down 1% on pace to snap an eight-week win streak and post its worst weekly stretch since April. Now leading the way for losses, no real surprise here, inflation concerns and Fed rate hike uncertainty. Meanwhile, one has to keep, keep into consideration that a new week is present. Will we see an extension of those losses or will the bulls come roaring back on the street? Let's now take a look at what will likely move the markets in the week ahead. Monday kicks off in Germany with the German IFO business climate read for June due out. Expectations calling for a read of 90.7. While on Tuesday, the U.S. is in focus. First, there will be the release of May durable goods orders, a read that's expected at negative 1%. And yes, there is housing data scheduled with May new home sales and the April housing price index scheduled for release. New home sales expected at 0.67 million. Wednesday sees us back in Germany with the German GFK Consumer Confidence Report on the docket, a report that's expected at negative 23, while here in the U.S., the bank stress test information scheduled for release throughout the day. Thursday sees us begin in the EU with European June Consumer Confidence on the docket, expectations calling for a read, negative 16.1, while preliminary harmonized June consumer prices await out of Germany, expectations for a read, 6.7%. And then here in the U.S., we do have weekly jobless claims numbers, but we also have first quarter GDP due out, GDP expected at 1.3% annualized. And on Friday, we begin in China with the Chinese June non-manufacturing PMI read, expectations call for a read of 50.8, while in the U.K., first quarter British GDP due out, expectations expectations calling for a read of 0.1%, while over in Germany, retail sales and the unemployment rate for the month of May await. Unemployment out of Germany expected to remain unchanged 5.6%, while right here in the U.S. we have personal spending, personal income and the June Michigan consumer sentiment figures throughout. Expectations calling for a read of 63.9. Meanwhile, keep an eye on geopolitical updates and inflation reports, which have been the market movers as of late un and until next week. Coming at you live from the New York Stock Exchange, I'm James Sweeney, reporting for ICF.